Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to BNN. I've talked about this story almost all week since last week. I've made three videos and someone asked me in the comments, Edgar, would you apologize if it turned out that Joe was right? If it turned out that Joe was innocent, would you apologize? No. No, I would not. No way in hell. After what he just did on the Chipukizi show, exposing this young girl, I think we are past the po point of no return. He is guilty, and even if he is innocent of all other charges leveled against him, for this, exposing this young girl and violating her privacy, that is something that I just can't ignore, and that's what makes me... It really showed me the kind of person Joe Mwangi is, and today I wanted to make this video and show you guys the truth about this Joe Mwangi and Wendy Waini stories from all the research and investigating I've done, and today is about receipts. Today is about receipts. There are three sides to every story. There are both sides, and then there's the truth, and today I want to try as much as I can to show you guys the truth. So when Jomongi was accused last week on Jeff Koenange live show, it was up to him, the burden of proof was on the adult on him, to provide us receipts and actual proof of exactly what happened. And he just proceeded to expose this young girl this week on Chipokizi show. And was it necessary, Joe? Was it really necessary? Joe Mwangi exposed Wendy and her private life, and now Wendy is the subject of cyberbullying, and people are making fun of her on Twitter. There are so many distasteful and nasty tweets about her, and I can show you guys a few. And I want to start this video by saying a quote. When a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try to control how others see you. The information will feel unfair, but stay above it, trusting that other people will eventually see the truth just like you did. So on to the receipts. Jomongi went on the Chipukizi show and alleged that when he was asked about where all the money Wendy Waini has been making in her shows, he said, what shows? Wendy Waini hasn't performed in the last two years. And I, dig, I dug a little deeper to find out exactly where all this money has been and has been coming from. And Wendy Waini's mother went on Citizen TV and talked about this how Joe Mwangi has been going around Nairobi to politicians to celebrities to ask for money in the name of Wendy Waini and she gave an account of some of the funds that she is aware of that Wendy Waini that Joe Mwangi pocketed. Another source of this money is that Becky, the new manager, accused Joe Mwangi of soliciting Kenyans for money, offering them services of training their children as acrobats, and she gave a number 18,000. So Joe Mwangi, I even found a poster of Joe Mwangi advertising these services, and it shows that Joe Mwangi was telling Kenyans that Wendy Waini can train their children in acrobatics during the school holidays, while this was not true. <laughs> Becky, the new manager, has receipts and she did the right thing and gave it to the DCI to investigate further instead of parading it all up on social media, which it really goes nowhere. So in the last Chipukizi interview, Jumwangi told Chipukizi that he actually contacted Wendy's mother the day after the JKL interview and wanted to hand over everything back to the mother and he got no response. After the JKL show, in the morning I texted her mom. I told her, organize for a meeting we meet, I hand over everything concerning Wendy to you. They never replied. And what Jomwangi did not say is that previous to that interview, when he found out that Wendy Waini was going on that interview, he called the mother and threatened and threatened her that he will call the cabinet secretary and get Wendy's Waini education scholarship pulled as 
he feels that she should not be on this interview. Mwanzo kabla ali siji alijua VP when you have na pila taenda kwa hewa kwa citizen kwa chef. Sasa hapo ndo vitisho zilianza. Alianza kunitishia na kuniambia the message ni nazo. Okay. Okay. Zenye hata sitavuta aliniambia huyu mtoto aziende kwa hiyo show. Akaenda kwa hiyo show ata ata ataongea na matiani. Mhm asimlipie school fees. Kwa hivyo asinanisikize na nisikize kwa makini. So analipia fees na na matiani. Okay. Kwa ni personal like out. Kwa matiani ndio. Okay. Okay. Alaniambia akienda hiyo show ajue hiyo kitu itasimama. Ataenda kuongea na matiani hata barua aliniandikia. Okay. Ya vitisho kama hiyo. Sasa mimi nikasema hapana wache iende venye itaenda mm. lakini mimi nipate haki ya mtoto wangu. Ulimjibu siko mjibu hata. Okay, okay, ndio. Wanasema silence is golden. So baada ya mtoto amekwenda kwenye runinga, yuko hadharani sasa hivi na kila kitu kiko nje, alikutafuta. Baadaye vile ameona kwa maana mm. alinipigia ali simu tena. Mhm. Akaniambia ane uh, ako ni ako pole sana, anasema uh, sorry, mm. anaweza taka turudiane, tumenyekea sasa. Turudiane, tu, turudi pamoja, mm. tuongee. Mm kumalize hii maneno mm, mm. na kama kuna kitu chochote cha windi ataweza kurudisha mm. anipatie mimi mwenyewe mm. sasa mimi nikashangika mm. tena amegeuka tena mimi nikawa mimi sina kazi yake sasa e, e, kabisa yangu na ilisha kabisa okay jo. and then from the video as when the his mama alleged jomwangi contacted her mother again after they interviewed and was sorry and was apologetic and the question i wonder is what changed between after that interview when joe mwangi was feeling apologetic to this interview with chipukizi where he went and dragged this little girl in front of the whole world so as jomwangi exposed wendy waini about her porn searches i like how feminists in kenya put it in a tweet they said why do we have such double standards that a teenage boy looking at porn is not a big deal but a man uses screenshots to derail the conversation and how we have weaponized women's sexuality against them. Joe Mwangi on Tuesday released screenshots of Wendy Waini's alleged porn searches, which most Kenyans do not believe as when you look at the date stamps of these screenshots, they are written today and yesterday, and Kenyans believe that these are his own porn searches and that he's just trying to pin this on Wendy Waini to discredit her and make her story less compelling and taking the moral high ground. I decided to check these porn websites myself to make sure that they were real, and yes, these porn searches are actually real, but when I was looking at them, they really do not look like this is what a woman would actually search for if they are trying to look at porn so suspect a lot of suspect evidence here and as you guys have noticed how kenyans on twitter think that this is his own porn search history when you actually look at the date and stamps stamps today and yesterday the only other probable explanation for this is that he actually took this photo the day when he actually caught wendy waini with this allegedly and if this is actually true let's imagine that this is months ago because he said he took a phone around april now is august it's been almost three four months so does it mean that he had been planning this expose all along does it mean that jomwangi took these pictures on that day and has kept them all this time for him to release was this a big a bigger plan he had in mind to protect himself and kenyans dug a little deeper and found that the wendy waini twitter account was following porn accounts in reference pornhub and we all know that Joe Mwangi controls these accounts, so, hmm, hmm. And because Joe Mwangi decided to take the moral high ground exposing Wendy as a porn addict, Kenyans on Twitter unearthed and leaked his own nudes. <laughs> Kenyans leaked his own nudes. He was sending nudes to strangers on the internet and they were very willing to share and expose this fool. Jomangi also admitted to installing spyware software on Wendy Waini's phone. And a question that I wonder, and I'm sure so many other Kenyan parents, someone who's not your child, how do you install spyware software on someone else's child? Who does he think he is, honestly? He installs spyware software on Wendy Waini's phone. He's not the father, he's not the brother, he's not family, he's just a manager. And he's able to track everything she's doing on the internet. He's able to see her location. He's able to control which apps Wendy Waini has on her phone. And in an interview, 
the manager and the mother they were very curious as to how Jomwangi was aware of Wendy Waini's whereabouts. Like when Jomwangi said he was aware that Wendy Waini was at a friend's house for two, two, three days that he was at the new manager's house for a week. And they, they've been puzzled and wondering how did he actually figure this out? And this this is what I I think, at least I think, this is how he did it. Because he has access to Wendy Zoyani's phone and location through this spyware software, he's able to tell exactly where she is at all times. And don't you guys think that is creepy? Someone who's not your father, not your relative, has this much control over your life, a stranger. Can you guys believe this shit? Can you guys believe this? Jomwangi must also be very delusional. He has been caught in text with other Kenyans claiming that he's Wendy Huaini's big brother. Does that make... Why? 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 Why the lies, Jomwangi? Why the lies? Jomwangi can be quoted many, many times on his Twitter post and the interviews he's done. He said he's not traveled with Wendy Huaini anywhere outside the country, but Posts from himself, his own words from his own mouth. From earlier posts on Facebook reveal that he wrote this caption, and I can show you the screenshot. He wrote, he wrote, I don't know, you are my world. He talked about, uh, we have seen the world together. No one understands me better than Wendy. What exactly is wrong with Joe Mwangi? Who is lying here? He said he's never traveled with a girl anywhere, but you can also see his Facebook post saying we've slept in the best hotels, we've been all over the world together. So, hmm, is this snitching on himself? Also in the interview he gave Chipuki, I think so many people ignored this fact. Joe Mwangi clearly stated that when they went to Rwanda, President Kagame gave them $5,000 to each. When he went, his mother gave him $1,000, which is 100,000 Kenya shillings, and to which Wendy, Wendy Waini refuted this claim in her interview with Radio Jambo, saying that he actually gave Joe Mwangi 200,000, and Joe Mwangi also confirmed this, confirmed this on his own Twitter. So why did he feel the need to lie about this? Why exactly? The truth will also cut both sides here, because I'm also curious about the mother. If she, if indeed she, she did have 300,000 in her name, where exactly did she take all this money? Where exactly did you take all this money? Because even you, I think you mismanaged your daughter's money. And case in point, where did 300,000 go? If you're still living in a house without running water and in a single room in Uhuruma. And Jomwangi claimed that Wendy Waini's mother is a drunkard, which Wendy Waini went on record telling Citizen TV that no, she refuses the claim. She's not a drunkard. She does not drink because she's a staunch Christian. And I, I saw someone on Twitter post that just claiming that you're not a drunkard is not proof enough. Take a drug test to confirm this as true or not. Also, when you and his mother was asked on Radio Jumbo, point black by the radio host, whether Joe Mwangi and Wendy Waini had traveled together, of which she dodged this question. And I don't understand why. I don't understand why she does this question. She only responded by she's only aware that Wendy Waini and Jomwangi traveled together to Rwanda, in which that trip she was present. So I do not understand why she's afraid or not disclosing whether they've traveled together. Because as a mother, I'm sure when your daughter is not in your house, I'm sure you are aware of where she is. I don't think any mother, your daughter is just away and in another country and you and you don't know where she is. And I also think Jomwangi has traveled with Wendy to so many other countries, but I guess we don't have proof or there's something else going on here that we are not understanding. There's something going on here that we're being it's being hidden. Because if Wendy Waini and her mother are pretty forthcoming and forthright with what they are saying and their accusations, then they should give us all the receipts and tell us exactly what has been happening. Wendy Waini's mother was also asked in an interview in Radio Jumbo how she could be so blind to her daughter being taken advantage of like this and there being no money coming in. And she said... Jomangi had been given had been giving her little by little and just promising her there's more in the future, there's more coming, more coming. And this actually reveals to me that and also from how Becky's new manager spoke, that there was no actual real contract between Wendy Waini and Jomwangi. And so Jomwangi was able to set whatever terms he felt he felt was right and take however much money he felt. So I don't think even 
later they, they would have much of a case because there was nothing written down on paper that I am owed this for this many performances, I'm being paid this much commission. So it was just word of mouth agreements which cannot really hold up that well in a court case. So this story of Wendy Waini, it keeps unfolding. Wendy Waini and family have kept quiet after the allegations made by Jomwangi on TV. And I think them, they're dealing with it from a legal standpoint and going to the authorities and providing the evidence they have and the receipts they have. And this would have been the best way and the right way to deal with this. So in this case, I guess I'm trying to be as impartial as possible, but I am on the side of Wendy because in the in the end, when all is said and done, Wendy will be the most affected by this. Everyone else is an adult, everyone else did, did things which they're not willing to admit and come out with. So I think Wendy will suffer the most and this will follow her for the rest of her life. So anyway guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!